Hello there and welcome back. In this meditation, we'll do something a little different. And I'll read to you one of the decrees from Jeff and Shelia's book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover, as written by Jeff and Shelia, channeled directly from Divine Source. I choose to be in permanent, harmonious union with my true twin flame. I surrender my life to God's loving way. I choose to see, know and completely accept God's loving way when it is presented to me. I choose to follow God's loving way with absolute faith, commitment, dedication, discipline and joy. I trust God to show me the way. I surrender all of myself completely to love's warm embrace. I trust love will guide and protect me and I protect and channel only love in my every thought, word, choice and action. I am one with love in every moment now and eternally. I am God's perfect channel. Whenever God calls me to, I will speak, act and choose as my creator asks. I act immediately upon God's loving guidance without hesitation or laziness. I am complete in my love with God. I choose to manifest my twin flame now for the purpose of perfect union and my ascension. I choose to align myself fully to my perfect 
union and take all steps needed to permanently secure my perfect union sustainably for all eternity. I am one with my twin flame and together we choose to enjoy an eternity of loving enjoyment with God as one. I take each step in my ascension journey with peace, joy and ease and loving perfection. I surrender all resistance and patiently work through each step as it arises. I am one with God's love now. And once you've, uh, you feel like you're complete in having expressed yourself to God here, just take some time to absorb the decree and your commitment to God here. Take all the time that you need. And when you feel ready, just gently Open your eyes and reconnect to your surroundings. Namaste. Hello, I'm Sakina. Welcome to the card reading for Church of Union Sunday service. So I'm going to use uh, the deck called uh, Work Your Light Oracle Cards from Rebecca Campbell. So these cards in itself are very uh, uh, energetic and light at heart. Uh, basically, they are, uh, uh, they are completely uh, transformational uh, and I personally love this deck a lot from, from the collection what I have. So let's get started with today's reading. So I've already pre-shuffled the cards. All I'll uh, do is just uh, read the cards. So uh, the first card says, Warrior Woman. And the message to it is, Have you answered your deepest calling? Uh, with a question mark. Uh, so right of, right of the message, what we get here is, uh, have, you, have you looked into the desire what, is your calling 
have you looked into the calling what you have yet not acknowledged have you yet uh, not honored what your desire is so uh, if you if you really observe this card you can see that there is a woman who with a sword in her hand and fully ready to move forward or uh, and is ready to make uh, any changes in in their life so this is this is a, a message for us that all you have to do is just make a choice and uh, come into that uh, vibration where you can make changes to your um, vibration uh, and when you make a choice uh, that's when you um, have the ability to move forward and making the choice is the first step towards your deepest desire deepest calling in your heart so this could be related to your life purpose your soul purpose your journey or anything related to your uh, life right now so it gives uh, a message to us that have we ever looked into that part of ourselves which is really asking us to pay attention there so it is if if it is a calling for a soul purpose uh, we have to understand that uh, we on this planet earth have come with a soul mission which is um getting trans uh, transcendental experience uh, taking that experience and going on to a vibration and uh, ascending to our path which god has already created us to create it for us uh, when he sent us on this planet when he basically created us so that's that's our soul journey and what we have to uh, do here by living on this earth and uh, by living on this earth what we mean by our soul mission is loving and spreading that love uh, loving yourself loving every brother and sister uh, who are on this earth and giving them and showing them a light which you have or which god has already given a, a torch in your hand and that's where and you have to lead and uh, be that warrior that you know everybody can look upon and if and that if that's your desire help yourself in getting that desire fulfilled in your life the second card uh, says awakening and i can see there is a girl you know just in the clouds maybe in the astral realm and uh, thinking she's very light and yes uh, that is true and it says energetic upgrades a new we a new way of being and integration so that's true so if you make a choice to create um, that vibration in your life that's how you are awakening awakening doesn't even just doesn't mean okay now uh, you know i'm awakened and i'm going to do this do that no basically awakening is basically uh, understanding your own desires is understanding your own self your un understanding how you were made and that's what awakening is and and that vibration itself when you choose that good for yourself that vibration itself is so light that you feel that uh, you know you you're losing all the burdens what you have always kept on yourself and 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 that's an energetic upgrade for you and that's a new way uh, you approach your life and this journey uh, awake you get awakened to this journey and then you get awakened to your soul purpose your soul mission and that that's really uh, healing when you really start awakening yourself because you have the understanding of how you want to create your life on the third and the third card says lumeria uh, creating heaven on earth it's happening and this is something what we have always heard um, maybe what i have heard is just in this community 
never outside that we are creating you know heaven on earth and that is true how do we how are we creating heaven on earth is by honoring our own self honoring uh, our uh, being loving ourselves and loving whatever comes up by loving ourselves is the most uh, respectable thing what you do for yourself because in a way you're loving god um, yeah and uh, that's how you're creating heaven on earth because you are spreading not only love uh, spreading the love for yourself but you are spreading that love in this entire energetic field of earth and uh, and our soul our mission is the same that you have to uh, spread love and create love how god has created us so uh, yes very beautiful and subtle messages as i already said that it's a beautiful deck and so to conclude is uh, the first card was warrior women uh get started uh, move forward and uh, be that warrior be that light on this earth and uh, yeah and that's when you awaken your soul and your soul purpose and with that by awakening yourself and giving all good to yourself you are creating an heaven a heaven on earth for yourself and for others so um yeah respect that honor that choice and just to keep moving uh, just keep move forward and uh, keep loving yourself uh that's it from my side uh please enjoy the rest of the service hello i'm lorenzo and i am alexandra and we are introducing today's sunday sermon by jose and Michaela. and in today's sermon, they are talking about dreams and the process of achieving your dreams. Now, I love, I love dreams and I love making my dreams come true. The problem, the promise of dream is that they come true, right? And that's the, one of the famous quotes uh, for us as unionists that we uh, go by and follow by, like Shadia said this, um, I think it was either in a class or a lesson. I don't remember exactly, but uh, yes, the promise of dreams is that they come true. And Jose and Michaela are going to walk us through one of the key or more, you know, steps on how we can pursue those dreams and walk through those dreams. And um, there's really like an inspiration about making your dreams come true because, you know, you, they have walked from you know being in separation to being in harmonious union uh, living together physically uh, getting married manifesting better homes uh, better financial situations mm -hmm. and more and more dreams they're they're on a roll of achieving mm -hmm. their dreams all the time and i think like that the perfect an inspiration for this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the perfect people to um you know gain like some inspiration and motivation from on on the path as unionists and i feel that since they're gonna talk a lot about how to manifest your dreams was the process how to go through the challenges i wanted to talk about how to like identify your dreams because mm -hmm. i feel like that's a really important element as well when you are on this journey like how do you identify your dreams and mm -hmm. how because if you identify your dreams, then you're going to have an easier time to come back to them and ground and work the process to manifest them. And I feel like for me, when I think about my dreams and where I was, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, seven years ago, let's say, or 10 years ago, right? I feel like my dreams were like very fleeting thoughts that I had that were like, oh, that's a nice idea. But then it would kind of like, kind of fall into something that Jose and Michaela talk about. But that's impossible. That's not for me. And I would just kind of completely dismiss it. And obviously, I didn't have these teachings. I didn't know. But um, since you're watching this, if you ever get like a fleeting thought, like, oh, that would be a cool thing, you know, sit with that, you know, mm -hmm. investigate, get clear. What's, 
what's that for you why do you feel called that because you might have like a a desire um, a dream there that's waiting for you to to pay attention for it and really nurture it and manifest it mm -hmm. right and it doesn't mean that you the manifestation process will be you have to start on this today or tomorrow mm -hmm. there is um, a spiritual process behind it and jose miguel and they're gonna go deeper with that as well so allow yourself to feel your dreams into your heart and establish a relationship with them. I mm -hmm. feel like you really have to go and build a relationship with your dreams. You cannot start manifesting them if you're not very clear on what your dreams are. And mm -hmm. through the process of, kind of feeling your feelings, doing the mirror exercise, um, you can also get to know your dreams better. And I feel like that's something that for me, helped me a lot in manifesting my own dreams. And, you know, us as well, you know, achieving our harmonious union and mm -hmm. getting married and um, walking through like a lot of adventures together and having a lot of, you know, of our dreams come true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I, I love it as well, you know, this subject and the fact that, you know, when it comes to dreams, like it's really about you allowing yourself to have dreams in the first place, you allowing yourself to have as crazy as a dream is, just sort of let go of the belief that it's crazy and just go with it to see how it feels. As Alexandra said, just sit with it because I remember as well, you know, like um, before being with you, I was um, I was having some crazy dreams, but I was always like allowing myself to explore it and always like move in that direction. But one of the things that usually appears or appeared for me at least, you know, it was a lot of fear. And, and Jose and Michaela will touch upon that, but mm -hmm. just to share a bit of from my experience and what um, I know that you know really helped me back then was just to move forward in the direction. If I if there was fear in the direction of a dream, I knew that's the place where I should go because because that's where um, how to say this. Uh, what? Is this a gamer thing? <laughs> gamer thing. Yeah, usually like in video games, you know, when you encounter monsters on your path, oh. that's how you know you're going on the right thing because you're in yeah. like, um, you know, encountering mm. that resistance. Might be, might be. I'm, I'm not denying that. <laughs> well, the challenges are here to make you stronger, right? Yes. So that's a video game lesson for you there. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, well, do you have anything else to say about this? Yeah, I feel really, really good. I'm uh, looking forward to today's sermon and I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to another Church of Union Sunday sermon. Please join us for our opening alms and our opening prayer. Mm -hmm. I am the only child of God, forever part of Him. I am created by Him in perfection, and there I always remain. My mind is my sanctuary, where I keep His holy creation sacred. I will only allow in His voice. I will only accept His word. Today, I will hear the word of God. I surrender myself to his teachings through his divine channel. I will honor what he has spoken and accept it as his will. I will be obedient to his word, for this is my salvation. In Christ's Christ name, Om. Amen. So welcome back, everyone. I'm Michaela. I'm Jose. And today we want to talk about believing in your dreams and uh, making your dreams come true. 
which is a really important topic, especially as a unionist, because the ultimate goal of this teaching and this work is to achieve a heaven on earth. And so, yeah, we want to talk about the whole process of pursuing your dreams, manifesting your dreams, working through the challenges that arise when you are um, in that process of manifesting a dream. And a lot of, I mean, everyone watching this is on their, you know, most likely, I don't know if everyone does, but most people are on their twin flame journey, at least, and manifesting some sort of dream. And, you know, whether it's harmonious union with your twin flame, whether it's your perfect life purpose, mm -hmm. your dream home, um, dream relationships, dream health and body, or all of the above, everyone here is in the process of manifesting their dreams. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about that process, uh, what we've been learning um, in this process, how to believe in yourself and how to keep the faith, you know, and to keep yeah. going even when you are challenged and you go through your tests and trials and tribulations on this journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess um, I want to start addressing a feeling that I guess everyone moves through and it's feeling that it's impossible and maybe you know and you hear about it you know it's possible and you can achieve your dreams but a part of you is very like doubtful nah like I can believe on it but maybe not and this is something that Jeff and Salia have um, taught us a lot in classes recently and I want to start with something that Jeff said a while ago about once you have a dream in your heart and you feel into it and then you get sad. Yeah. There is a very heavy feeling and it's like, oof, um, that That's feels like very bad. I can't have that. Yeah. That voice is not for you. You don't have any way to achieve it. It's very far away. All of these things. And I remember he said, just simply sit with that, with that sadness, because that sadness and heaviness is the block mm -hmm. to your dream and you just need to move through it and heal it and heal it yeah and i want to share this experience that i had recently about one dream that we are chasing now chasing yeah pursuing pursuing creating. yeah creating mm -hmm. and it's i guess yeah our, our first home together in and, the US. yeah in the us so we are moving and i was feeling into it and logically i knew it was possible, it was something very achievable, very um, close, but a part of me was feeling very discouraged, a lot of things appear very difficult in our reality, it's like I don't know how I'm going to move from here to that mm -hmm. space, what I want. And then I just remember these words of sit with the sadness, and I was like, okay, I was in the night, I was like, I told you. Yeah, you told me. That. Okay, that's true. She told me to do that. And I just sat there with the sadness and I was like, okay, here we go. Whatever it is, I'm going to feel through it and be totally present with it. And I remember it was, it was so easy. I was expecting this very big block mm -hmm. or big sadness and only by bringing attention, just a little attention, <clears throat> I felt huge relief in my heart. I felt like, ah, like, that world doesn't feel like it's there anymore. Mm -hmm. And I remember something very cool happened the next day and all of my Facebook got bombarded <laughs> with, you will own your house and you are getting your house now and you are doing this <laughs> your and now your dream home is coming. And I was like, wow, <laughs> yeah, that didn't like, happen so yesterday. Yeah. yeah, it was very interesting and it was a very um, nice communication from God that, mm -hmm. hey, um, I saw what you did over yeah. there and a very nice um, reassuring feeling and yeah we want to um, speak about that mm -hmm. how to move from the impossible to, to possible to having it yeah and I feel that everyone in their life um, knows that feeling of really desiring something yeah. and then feeling like oh it's just out of reach and then maybe at some point in your life, you actually ended up achieving that thing, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you realize that it is so possible. And for us, I remember on my journey, when I first found this teaching, how I thought like having my twin flame next to me mm -hmm. in harmonious union would be impossible. Like there was genuinely a part of me that 
didn't know how that would happen. And yeah, like I guess I learned that it you just have to have faith. You don't even, yeah. it's like Jeff and Shalia always say, um, you just work the vibrational process. Like mm -hmm. you're on a vibrational journey, just like if you get on an airplane from Los Angeles to New York City, you don't have to even believe you're gonna end up there. You know, yeah. you just have to take the journey. And um, something that Jeff and Shalia also say throughout their classes, and I, I watched, I think, a life purpose class recently, where they said, uh, wherever you are, some of your biggest dreams will seem impossible mm -hmm. because from where you're at now, vibrationally, it's not possible. But all you have to do is walk through the steps in front of you mm -hmm. and you're taking that vibrational journey and you will manifest it, you know, the thing. And so everything that I have learned um, while doing this work has been just have faith, you know, like this is a process, like this work that we're doing, the mirror exercise and the spiritual work and everyone, you know, working at their life purpose work, like we don't just do that because it feels good. We do it because it's actually creating a whole new reality. Mm -hmm. And it's important to have faith in that process and not get discouraged by the voice of fear. Mm -hmm. Like you're saying, like that when you feel into your dreams and like for us, it was manifesting our dream home. And then you feel that like, sadness in your heart like that sadness is the block mm -hmm. that's preventing you from moving forward and so what you do is you know you do the inner healing this the purification of that block and you sit with it and you move through it mm -hmm. and yeah yeah and i think there is like a lot of comfort in knowing that if it feels impossible it's just because you are working yeah your vibration up nothing more is like i'm not there yet but I am one step closer mm -hmm. if I keep doing this. And yeah, I guess um, if you look back in your life, you can see this type of thing mm -hmm. that something looked impossible until it wasn't impossible and you had it. I guess for me, when I joined this community thinking about Harmonious Union, I was like, I don't know how that is going to happen. I don't know how my dream family is going to be next to me doing this or all of these things. But one day it just happens and it's like, wow, it's no longer impossible, it's my reality. Mm -hmm. And if it can happen in one area of your life, it can be something small in your life, something that, oh my God, I finally got this. I finally achieved this level of peace or happiness in my purpose, for example. If you achieve one area of your life, why not the others? Because if God is real in one area, he must be real no. in the others. <laughs> so. Yeah, might as well chase all of those dreams that you have. And for me, there is a lot of reassurance in looking back at my life. We were talking the other day about if I could travel in time back five years ago before my journey started and I found this community and I will introduce myself to myself. I will be like, hey, this is my life. I wouldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. I will be like, no, you're not me. Mm -hmm. Like that year, he'd be so impressed. He would be so impressed, and I was like, "Wow, that was some years ago. This was impossible for me. Why would it be the last time this happens to mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. You know, if you apply the same principle, what about in the next two years, five years of your life, the same thing can happen, the same shift." in your perception yeah. can happen. Like you don't just get one miracle. And I feel like, mm -hmm. yeah, like for us, it was coming into Harmonious Union was such a huge miracle. Mm -hmm. And then they kept happening. And you know, <laughs> like our, I remember when we moved here, I or I moved here, we wanted our own apartment and that seemed impossible oh, yeah. until it happened, you know? And then, you know, we wanted to move out of our, you know, less than ideal apartment and come into a nice apartment and that seemed impossible and then it happened you know so we've just really learned throughout this process while applying the teachings of union that yeah you just need to have faith and work through what arises and really like don't look at your external reality for you know confirmation of yeah. of what is because it's about what where you're headed and what you're choosing on the inside. You know, mm -hmm. just manifestation doesn't happen overnight. If it's a really big thing, it, mm -hmm. it's something that you create through clearing out the blocks and the barriers, doing the inner work, and then taking your action steps. And it's really just that simple, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And if you try to take it all in one big leap, 
Of course, it's going to seem impossible too. Like for us with moving to mm -hmm. uh, the United States and buying a house, if you think about trying to do it all at once, like it definitely seems impossible. But if yeah. you break it down into little steps, like we have to talk to this person and we have to file this paperwork and mm -hmm. take this step, you know, um, it seems a lot more doable because it's just taking the little steps, you know, mm -hmm. and all those little steps add up and in the meantime we work through anything that arises for us and we just yeah. do whatever we're guided and yeah then it, it yeah like that's the process mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's about taking the steps and maybe sometimes it doesn't look like he's building your dream maybe god is directing you to do something and it's like really this doesn't seem like the direction i'm taking seems maybe random or maybe different but the moment you start taking it, you start to understand the purpose of that, the purpose of that experience that you are having. And it's like, oh, OK, I get it. And maybe you don't, but God gets it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you just need to have faith because you don't know the way to your dreams. God does. So yeah, it's a lot of surrender that is required of you if you want to really um, take the fast track to achieve the results that you like. And in our experience, I remember before moving, it was a lot of sitting in very, in a very uncomfortable place. Mm -hmm. We were feeling into this heaviness of like, oh my God, this is my reality, what's going on? Mm -hmm. I don't choose this, claim it every single day. Constantly. Constantly. And one day it was no longer there mm -hmm. and we moved. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's how it feels for, yeah, sometimes in this journey, it gets more difficult maybe before the breakthrough. And um, yeah, that's when you need to have the most faith because you can have faith when it's going easy and in your way and things are moving. But when it's difficult is when you are really being tested mm -hmm. in your commitment, in your faith on God. In growing. In growing is mm -hmm. like, if you want a big dream, um, there is a lot of growth to have. And you have the power that you mm -hmm. to like come into. Yeah, a lot of power to build within you, and that requires following the process mm -hmm. day by day, doing the work of the day, and also having patience. There is no rest on achieving everything overnight. It's like getting all the Christmas presents of your lifetime at once. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. like you want to have like that unfolding, that process mm -hmm. in your life. And I think that's the thing that I really enjoy about this teaching is that you get a miracle and you keep working the process and there is always a new miracle to achieve. And your life keeps, you know, showing you these little um, blinks mm -hmm. of the love that God has for you. Mm -hmm. And yeah, every little thing that God is sending your way encourages you to continue to really follow the path. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite Jehan Salia's quotes is um, the one that says, ascension is only remembering how much God loves you. And I guess that is how it is to achieve your dreams. It's yeah. like, wow, God loves me here. I didn't know I could be loved there, but now I'm loved in this space. And it's very beautiful. Yeah, I feel like, uh... You know, anyone who is raised in an environment where people settled in any way, mm, yeah. that can kind of, I know that's something I had to heal in my journey is like healing that settling energy, mm -hmm. you know, where the people in my life and my parents and my friends and family, relatives, all of those people, no mm -hmm. one chose to claim their greatness. They all kind of just settled. Yeah. And so that can like impact your sense of self-esteem and your worthiness mm -hmm. and you're just around people who don't really try hard you know or mm -hmm. care so much about themselves that does impact your self-esteem but the beauty of this teaching is that it awakens you to who you really are which is your divine being mm -hmm. and as a divine being you are completely worthy of all the things that you desire yeah. so yeah and that's something that was really important is that remembering your worthiness when you have mm -hmm. a really big dream you know if you're writing your love list for your, you know, whether it's your twin flame or your, like what we were doing, the perfect house and yeah. we were looking at houses. And I remember just feeling this like heavy feeling 
And then I, re I remember that thing that Jeff said about, you know, when you feel that sadness come up, that's the block. You know, mm -hmm. you just sit with it and you love yourself. And I felt so much better after that. And then I, I could see, you know, more uh, get a sense for what it would feel like to live in a perfect home. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was really beautiful. And I think that's really an important lesson on this journey too, is not to settle because your reality will continue to improve, mm -hmm. you know, when you're doing this work. And I think it's really important that even though things are way better than ever, like what, where we are right now, we realize like, wow, we're not really in like survival mode anymore. Yeah. We're not panicking, but, <laughs> but there's still more, you know, mm -hmm. like, and that's the thing is God desires for you to have a perfect life, not just a good life. You know, not mm -hmm. just like a, this is good. It's, he wants you to have a perfect life. Mm -hmm. And so you never settle. Even when you do re receive, you know, like your harmonious union, you do receive your home together. Mm -hmm. All of these things, like you still keep going mm -hmm. all the way until perfection, heaven on earth. And that's the goal. I feel like that's really important. And yeah, like everyone, everyone, you know, is aware at this point that once you achieve your harmonious union, that's just the beginning of things. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, just having that, like those high standards for yourself and loving yourself and having a high, uh, like valuing yourself and thinking so highly of yourself that you will never give up and yeah. you'll persist all the way until your dreams come true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And to know that it's okay to ask for more mm -hmm. because you are just asking for more God in your life. And yeah, you are, you are asking for relating to God in every corner. Of your reality, you are not asking for the sake of asking for like selfish, yeah, greed. selfishness, yeah, um, yeah, like reasons. You are asking because you want perfection, because you are created on perfection, mm -hmm. like the prayer mm -hmm. says. And if you are created in perfection, you will naturally want to live there, and it's the only place that you are going to feel comfortable with is when you have like what you actually, um are created for mm -hmm. and yeah like you are not taking from God by achieving your dreams you are giving to God mm -hmm. and yeah God is also happy with you achieving your dreams it's like who will not be happy you are happy God is happy Everyone. your dream is happy everyone is happy mm -hmm. so yeah that happiness expands and if you are creating that in your life um, yeah you will experience that everywhere and it's a very nice feeling to feel that happiness um, expanding and in your share. life and you sharing it with others that is so beautiful yeah yep yeah that was an insight that i had the other day that it's actually selfish to not mm, pursue yeah. your dreams and like receive your good like it's selfish to believe that you're unworthy because then if you don't receive your good then you don't get to extend it to the people that mm. are supposed to receive your love you know and your gift and so like it's actually the most loving and selfless thing you can do to receive, choose to receive your good and mm -hmm. choose to embrace your worthiness and choose to expand that love and choose to pursue your dreams and achieve them. Like that's the most selfless thing that you can do because you, you mm -hmm. show everyone around you that you, that it's possible. Like you don't really help anyone by playing a small being yeah playing small and like settling and mm -hmm. feeling unworthy and choosing to not succeed yeah you know? yeah i remember something you said when you had that insight about it's very selfish to not receive your good because you are not letting the good flow you know you yeah. are like getting it blocking the flow yeah it's like a river and you are in your part of the river and just get it stuck you know it dries out mm -hmm. like for the rest and um, yeah like it's a constant um flow of mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. through you to your brothers, to you, to God, but it must be moving, like water must be moving. If not, it gets bad, stagnant. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it has a purpose. And in God, if God is giving you something, uh, be humble to receive it. Yeah, and to, it's Yeah, it's humility to receive it and to do whatever God is asking you to do with it, not what you think you should do with it. Yeah. And that's your dream, is in accordance to God. And you deserve it. Yeah, you deserve it. And that is what makes you feel good about it. It's like you can sleep good at night. Yeah. Like, this is God's dream for me. God is happy with this. Yeah. And that's peace, yeah. And your happiness is not separate from God's mm -hmm. happiness. Yeah, that's so a good feeling. That's really beautiful. And mm -hmm. 
yeah, like your dreams are meant to come true and they will. I think it's so important just to see, always believe in yourself. And when you mm -hmm. do feel into the, your highest dreams, don't shy away from the, you know, the upsets that might come up or that yeah. sadness that might comes up. Instead, sit with that sadness and realize that that's the thing. That's exactly what you need to overcome to achieve it. And I mm -hmm. just really want that to be the message we share today is just to believe in your dreams and know mm -hmm. that they will come true. Whether it's your harmonious union that you're manifesting and focused on, or it's your life purpose, or mm -hmm. your um, whatever it is, you know, whatever dream that you're focused on, and whatever challenge you're moving through, to have faith in mm -hmm. the fact that you will move through it and you will achieve the thing. So never give up on yourself. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Good. So. Yeah, I guess that's concrete. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, you can join us in the. Closing prayer and the closing arms. Father, I accept your word into my heart. I will honor your will in my life and will follow you without hesitation anywhere you ask. I know you guide me into your heart where I belong. I accept that you are everywhere and your teaching is in all things. God, I know you provide me clarity in this teaching of union, that I may be forever in union with you. I accept that you are in me as you are in my brother. I will not deny my brother your word and will share your teaching with him in any way you ask and only as you ask. For when I share my salvation with him, I fully claim my salvation and return to you with him. In Christ's name, Om, Amen. Speaking this prayer in your heart means you have accepted you are on the path of awakening to your true divine nature. This is what it means to be a unionist. Follow the teachings of union with God wherever you find them and purify your consciousness into perfect union with your Creator. And now, the closing ohms. Feel free to om loud or in your heart. Thank you so much for joining us for another Church of Union Sunday sermon. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Namaste. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed uh, the sermon. Mm -hmm. I know we did, and it was really comforting to go through this, um, you know, walk through this process again, ground again into what we need to do to achieve my dreams. Just your dreams? Our dreams, <laughs> sorry, our dreams. What we need to do to achieve our dreams. And I feel like what um, stood out for me was just the, the easiness of being present with your feeling, that uncomfortable feeling of like, oh, it's impossible or, oh, you can't do it. That's that's the very thing that you have to like work through or that sadness as you know jose said i really really appreciated that reminder and that you know um grounded feeling of yeah i can feel into my uh, one of my dreams right now and allow myself to feel how i feel about it and if there's sadness just move through it or if there's good feelings embrace it right mm -hmm. uh, if there's an action step do the action steps and i really really love because i feel like when we get into that place that maybe we feel sad or demotivated, that's where we tend to maybe give up on our dreams. But the answer is not to give up. It's just to be present with that dream and keep feeling and keep, you know, mm. grounding it in that space. And I really love that, again, reassurance about mm. what you, you need to do here. I also loved how 
we can um, relate with having these Im seemingly impossible dreams and, you know, but seeing that through working the process, you can achieve them. And when you achieve some of them, you kind of build this confidence in growing and keep moving through the process. And I think that this is why um, when you keep working in the teachings and you see results into your life and you manifest those dreams, it's going to become like a, a snowball effect. You know, when you have a snowball and you let it roll down the hill and it's going to become more and more um, charged with, you know, positive energy and confidence because you can relax into, oh, this process actually works. It's kind of how Jose said, I really love that. Like, if it worked for me in the past, why wouldn't it work now? Mm -hmm. Because if harmonious union felt impossible for you, but you achieved it how it was for um, Jose and Michaela and us as well, we resonated with that a lot. Uh, if we went through that, we can go to the next level. Mm -hmm. And even you, even if you're not in harmonious union, did you have any dream come true for you? And if yes, then why wouldn't your harmonious union be achievable and possible mm -hmm. for you in a, in a reasonable amount of, you know, time it's here for you right mm -hmm. now and all that you have to do is just walk through this spiritual process that uh jose and michael talked about hey, mm -hmm. lovely yeah really sit with those feelings and move through you know the process with the mirror exercise and just heal and you're gonna achieve it and you know something that came up as um actually at the beginning of what we spoke about about this subject with um dreams is that you know even if alexander has a dream uh, you know, as she said, her dream, <laughs> and we laughed a bit about it. It's the thing is, as twin flames, we will have the same dream. I wanted really to share this as well. You know, mm -hmm. like we have the same dreams, and actually, it happened to us. I think you know, to to see that and to see that, you know, like as twin flames, you will have a, uh, the same dreams, you won't have separate dreams. It will never happen to have separate mm -hmm. dreams. I was like, with Jose and Michele, it was very clear they have the same dreams and they share from that space, and you can see very clearly how they want the same thing mm -hmm. but that only shows their mastery of working through their feelings to get to the point of aligning themselves with their desires mm -hmm. that's really important maybe they haven't shared necessarily about that but i really wanted to emphasize a bit that mastery that they hold in that uh, uh, alignment with themselves and their desires mm -hmm. yeah it is a process even to align mm -hmm. with uh, your desires that spiritual level yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Good. Yeah. again i hope you enjoyed this sermon if you wish to see our previous sermons you can always go on the unionist.org website that where you will see our previous sermons and all of our content and also you can like and subscribe to this youtube channel to keep up to date with what we're doing and the content that we're putting out also on the unionist.org website, you can also tithe or donate to the Church of Union if you feel inspired to support us in spreading the message of unionism. And right uh, after the service is over, you can also go on the Unionism Spiritual Discussion Group on Facebook and there you will see the After Church Tea Time, which is a live discussion with uh, unionists that we'll go deeper with the topic in uh, uh, presented in this sermon as well and usually it's a really really amazing discussion i highly recommend checking it out and connecting with us and with the community we really love seeing you around we wish you a happy sunday see you in the after church tea time and see you next time thank you very much and have a wonderful week